Hi, I'm Dark Shocks, and this is my submission for the 11th hour uh, new game all puzzles category for AGDQ 2021. Um, in the all puzzles category, we play all the puzzles, meaning we don't skip any, but we will st still skip all the cutscenes. Um, I am the current world record holder, however, I have played a lot of any percent recently, so I hope this, this run goes well. <laughs> the good thing about this category is that there's uh, fast and, 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 uh, and slow moments in it, meaning in the slow moments one could uh, read donations or things like that. And in the fast moment, there's a lot to see. All right. The run starts the moment I click off screen here. In three, two, one, go. Winter coat worn for a mixer, winter coat anagram, tonic water. Um, rolling rock, so. Oh! <laughs> I forget to split. No, 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 no! <laughs> Wait, does that does that work? I <laughs> that was a misclick. Um, we want this one, right? I haven't done this puzzle in a while. Um, right. I'm so used to any percent. All right, in any percent we can skip all the puzzles, right? So, right. Uh, so what's happening in this game is usually that you have word clues that lead you to objects and you have puzzles like this that prevent you from clicking certain objects. In this case, this puzzle prevents you from clicking something later. For now, we'll go up here and look for the cork. The cork is prevented uh, by this puzzle, so we need to solve this one real quick, which wants us to push buttons on the register so that... I think both sides say 81 and that the buttons are balanced between top, bottom, left and right. I think. So the solution is this. Alright. Artsy, anagram of artsy is satyr, so we'll look for a picture of the satyr in the art room. But first, we need to solve this puzzle because... Uh, we can't go to the art room before solving this puzzle. And of course, the best way to go to the art room is through the grandfather clock. But since this puzzle is in front of the grandfather clock, we need to solve this puzzle first before we enter the grandfather clock into the art room where we find the painting that says artsy. Now... This game, much like its predecessor, uh, has a lot of puzzles that are revolving around chess, which is fine, I guess, but it, it's, a, it's a reoccurring motive in both of the games. And in this particular puzzle you need to switch all the, uh, the the white and the black knights. Which I haven't done in a while, but I think we're going good. Right, this would be a time to read donations or something. Because there's not much more exciting stuff about... Oh, I think I played a tiny bit suboptimal. It's the same number of moves, but not the same number of clicks. Could have saved a click.
All right, and that's the first, well, the second puzzle done. We can now enter this grandfather clock, click on the setter, get the next puzzle, heart attack, anagram of heart, because you need to attack the word heart. That's the logic of this game, because of course it is, is Earth. So we spin the globe. Yeah, it's blood. Battleground. You take the word battle, you grind it up, and when it's ground, you get the tablet. Now, here's a particularly uh, tricky puzzle. Because it's heavily RNG based and it has. Um, and you're playing against. Um, against an AI. This is a good start. However, this essentially is reset mechanics. Uh, so. There's certain pieces we want and certain pieces we don't want. And I think we're almost stuck in a loop, so uh, the, the strategy for this is resetting until you got a good pattern and it looks like, yeah, this is not going anywhere. Alright, so we're gonna reset. Um, the idea is to get uh, our mouse, uh, to get the mouse into the right door while staff will try to get the mouse into the left door. Uh, you get a piece that is spare on the bottom left, which you see popping out, and you can insert that into the machine, and it pushes every next, uh, um, every preceding piece after that down down the line. And I think we're in the exact same situation as we were before. Ah, we could have used that. What do we get? We get one of those pieces. There's actually only two pieces that are useful to us. The one that's shaped like an upside down V and the one that's shaped like a V. And yeah, this is going nowhere. Essentially what we're doing is resetting until we get a good, good starting pattern. And a good starting pattern means that... That's a very good starting pattern. That's an optimal starting pattern. Uh, that's, that's solved. That's not solved anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Ah, uh, it could have been, but it wasn't. Um, now it's solved. There we go. Now we can put our piece here and we're done. Alright, that's good. That's really good, actually. <laughs> that's good luck. There we go. Uh, don't think too much about what happened. <laughs> but it was good. Okay, bars deter two cuckoo clock something, I don't know. The answer is Robin. So we're looking for the picture that has the Robin down here. Up next, modern art flourishes under the sun, which is, of course, in the art room, the picture below the sunflower. And that was C, so we hit C and we win. Uh, skedaddled, an anagram of sked, I guess, is desk, so we go to the desk in the library. Oh, I forgot to split there, which is not a problem. Uh, part of the body examined in Doctor's office. Tors O Fis. Torso. The torso. It's this torso. Uh, libation for an affectionate puppy. An affectionate puppy is one that licks, so a liquor. Sounds like liquor. Liquor. We go back to the bottle of, well, apparently, liquor that we have touched before. Um, Animal Solid Street is the Irish setter, which is in this room. And this is one of the few puzzles that we also solve in the any percent, because it's faster than s to solve this puzzle than skipping it. This... Oh, short. Um, this is the grandfather clock down there. Um, and we get another of these cryptic word puzzles, which will be the straight razor in the bathroom. Which means we need to solve the bathroom puzzle by getting a spider towards a spider of another color. We need, once again, to change the positions. Uh... uh <laughs> I'm not sure if that's right. I think it's right, yeah. Uh, of the brown and white spiders. Uh, 
and we have a limited number of moves. However, a move consists... Um, a move is still the same move if you're still moving the same spider. In other words, we just solved it. Um, why did I not split on the clock? Okay. Uh, I, have, I haven't run this category in a while. Alright, fruit loop on a stove. Meaning, fruit loop is shaped like an O. A stove is a range, so it's an O range. Um, uh, horse, nocturnal horses schedules. Uh, nocturnal horses, so nightmares. It's the nightmare painting. And it's this picture and this puzzle which is impossible to solve 50% of the time. Because of parity errors. This is... Oh, uh, um, right. <laughs> right, which piece is missing? I don't know. Um, there's 5 here, whereas 10, 10 is there. So I guess we'll do like this. Okay. Now some of these puzzles are still have the problem that you can click out of them accidentally. Um, which will reset them, so you gotta be a bit more careful than what I just did. Alright, let's hope that this version of the puzzle is solvable. Um, what's the next piece is the 8, which we don't have. So, oh, this is 6. Okay, so 6 we can use here. Right, also the, the piece which is missing is also chosen at random every time. And this one works! Nice! We're quite lucky. Alright, Ancient Castle Keep, blah blah, some prince. It's Hamlet. Hamlet is, of course... A great character from Denmark, aka a great Dane, like this dog, which is also a great Dane. A man horse on the fly, wounded bullseye. Uh, man horse is a centaur. Bullseye is the center of the board, so we play this puzzle on the centaur. And we hope that the AI is being stupid today. Which it looks like it is. We need to connect all the three sides of this triangle. Which we just did. Okay, good. <laughs> Up next, Stein, Olive, put them together, make an anagram, you get television. Um, vital instrumental part is the organ. Uh, oops, <laughs> the organ. Um, in our body or the organ in the chapel. Up next, this is a word clue which leads to Academic Penthouse. The Academic Penthouse is the Ivory Tower. And the Ivory Tower is protected by this puzzle, which is very long. <laughs> so this puzzle takes nine minutes to solve. And, um, and I've forgotten how. <laughs> Uh, so this would be a fun uh, moment for donations and such. This train moves so incredibly slowly. So, what we get is we start with, a let uh, with the word Faust. We need to spell the name of the owner of the house, which is Stauf. And we only have a very limited... Um, number of options on how to move. So, we want the word Faust, no, Stauf, on the end of the right rail. We achieve that by first getting the letter F to that rail. We do that by taking all the letters from uh, the back rail over here and push it in front of the F. Well, you can't push more than one um, letter at a time, because that would be far too easy. Um, you can only either push one letter or no letter. And you can't push them with the front of the train, you can only uh, hook them to the back. So that's what we're gonna do. go, we take the letter T, 
However, the, lever the letter T will not be put to the rest of the letters. Instead, it will be put to the bottom rail. Which means we need to drive past the bottom rail first. And then just put it on the I put it on the bottom rail. Then we take all the letters and put it in front of the letter T. One by one. Because if we do that, then the only letter that is going to remain on the top train at uh, top track will be the letter F, which we can then conveniently push to the right side, meaning we will have the first letter solved. Which is good. Now you could think that that's only a fifth of the puzzle solved, but I guess it's actually a third, because with every letter you solve, uh, the puzzle gets easier. Which makes sense. Now we've changed Faust into Aust F. Turn the music down a bit. Alright, we've got the F. Up next, we need to put the U in front of the F, which will be a bit tricky. We will do that by taking the letter A and putting it in front of the letter F. We're borrowing it, so to speak, um, and we'll remove it up, uh, a bit later. So we put the A in front of the F and take the UST and put it in uh, on the top rail. Since we pick them one by one, uh, I don't know, first in, last out or something, uh, this will reverse its order. So UST becomes TSU. Let's take a look. The first letter, which is the U. <laughs> this is a rather mundane puzzle, so I'm trying to talk as much as possible to be to have it be interesting, but this is nine minutes of this. I just noticed that I didn't practice the honeycomb, which might be a problem, but we'll see that later. Alright, and finally, the letter T from the bottom rail. To the top rail. And we go back to the bottom. We pick up the letter A that we have left behind. We once again put the letter A, well not once again, well kind of once again, well we put it to the bottom rail, first we have to go through, then we put T and S in front of the A, thereby freeing the letter U, which we can then put in front of the F to have two of the letters solved and that's essentially 70% of the puzzle done even though only two of the three uh, two of the five letters are solved but like I said with every letter that you solve the puzzle gets a lot easier because there's fewer letters to solve The music in this puzzle is a lot more upbeat than in the other puzzles, uh, or in, in the rest of the game, and when whenever the, the little train goes on a long ride without intermission, uh, it does the little choo-choo thing. 
which is really rather, like, happy, which is kind of a contrast to the rest of the game. All right. Up next. And now we hear the train. Choo-choo! Go, go, little train. All right. Uh, up next, we take the letters S and T and put them onto the top track, thereby freeing the letter A, which can then be pushed to the end. Kind of funky. Now I'm trying to be a bit careful with the clicks because I really don't want to click out of this uh, out of this puzzle. If that happens, the entire puzzle resets and. That is quite annoying, we want to avoid that at all costs, because then we'd have to repeat nine minutes of this. Alright, we've got the letter A. All that remains is T and S, we can grab T right away. Put it... To the rest of the word. And then we get the letter S, and then we're done. You go, little train. There we go, now we can click on the academic penthouse, which, which is the rook, or the white rook. And the chessboard, light piece from great orchestra, torque, estra, torch. Uh, the cheese grater, uh, alright, cheesy gadget sounds larger, larger can also be described as greater, and therefore cheese greater. Mm, which is of course barred by this wonderful puzzle. Uh, the solution to which I almost forgot. <laughs> I think it's that. Yeah, that should be fine. that puzzle, let's click on the grater. Up next, 500, 100, 0, 500 in Roman numerals is D, 100, C, 0, kind of looks like a disc, like a CD, so oops, oops. Uh, so it's the CD that's lying here on the desk. So, also, we now know that the game, the seventh guest, is canon in the universe of the eleventh hour. Um, blend a teapot shot. Teapot shot. Anagram is toothpaste. Slime is holding chipman to chop. Yeah, something that chops and that sly, guile, guillotine. Something, something. Four, one, three, one, two, one. You. Poor drainage. Drainage. Anagram of drainage. That it's a flower. It's the gardenia. Sounds like got higher from wine. Higher means it raised altitude. In other words, it rose. So we're looking for a rose. Uh, un, uh, in, in, tensionally straight forward. There we go. That's 
kind of a callback to there is no possible way in the uh, in the seventh guest. At least in my mind. All right, what kind of jewel is jewelry is angrier? Anagram of angrier. Um, one and four. Sorry, I have to actually. Two and four. Four and six. One, three, five, five. Okay. Uh, anagram of angrier is earring. All right. Well mannered Cockney. Well mannered is well behaved. Behave in Cockney's beehive, I guess. All right. Here comes the tricky bit. This is another puzzle against the AI. Uh, there's. Uh, it is a deterministic one, so if you do the same moves, then he will also do the same moves every time. And. All I have to do is remember the exact moves. Uh, well, not the exact moves, but it, later later on it has to be the exact moves of what I did um, in the previous in the version that is the so far fastest way to beat him. Um... Again, good time for donations and such. Actually, kind of serious time as well. Um... But I guess, once we're at that point, and if, I've, and if I've practiced it enough, then I guess this will come natural enough that we don't actually need serious time here. So donations can be read during this puzzle. Also, this AI is very strong. <laughs> uh, oh god, I hope it's this. Well, this is where my memory gets a little bit blurry. Th yeah, it's definitely, that's right. Okay. Let me jump here. So, without this fixed solution, you'd have to actually play him, which I guess Back when I started playing this game, well, when I started doing speedruns of this game, I had, like, essentially a 50-50 chance of beating him. But, thank goodness, this is deterministic. Oh dear god, I hope that was right. I think it was. I think we're good. Yep. And we've just won this! Nice! Woo! <laughs> Instrument is sharp but missing its head. So if you take the word sharp and take the head away, so the first letter you get harp. So we need to click on this harp, which we can't because there's a piano in the way. Which means we need to solve this sliding puzzle first. Um... Uh... God. Um... Come on. Get over there. Um, fun fact, if you click on the hint book to, to, to get help for this one, it'll say, this one's difficult, do you want it to solve it for Do you want me to solve it for you? Um, right. Oh, oh, I already messed up. Hang on. Let me just return those. No, hang on. Gotta be a little more careful. Sorry. Because I've messed that up before, I think. Right, like this. Oh god, I hope that's right. Uh, apparently this. 
Should be right. Yeah, should be fine. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. Piano. Piano. Yeah. Okay. Piano. And piano. Now this. And piano. Also in this puzzle, it is very much possible and easy to click out of the puzzle on accident. Okay, that one up, come on, go up. Piano. Okay, there. And this is one of the longer ones, so... Yeah. Clicking out of this is... Horrible and annoying. Because it resets the entire puzzle, which we don't want. Okay. And we've got this solved. Whew. Okay. Come on. Over to the harp. Nice. Next hint. Uh, de defective truck with crane, so you take the words truck and crane, put them together, make an anagram, and you get Nutcracker. Which is this fellow over here. Look at key missing first label, whatever. It's the eyeball. Up next, disabled cutting edge. Uh, which is uh, abled dis, so abled anagram blade. Up next, unreasonable reason. This is a good one. Uh, oops. Um, unreasonable, crazy, loco. Reason, motive. Locomotive. Oops. Come on. Silly hotspots. Paper used in unusual theses. Theses. Anagram is sheets. Adroit instrument. No, adroit holding sharp instrument. Adroit is clever. Holding A. In this case, holding the letter A. So clever plus the letter A is cleaver, which is a sharp instrument. Deserted arthropod. So, time for some dessert in the dining room. Where there's an arthropod. A trilobite. Alright, so this is again a, a game we play against self, the AI. And essentially we have a fixed pattern that is quick. If he chooses to go into the fifth, which is great. Um, which he just did. And then we do this. And then we do this. And then for some reason, he doesn't care about our four in a row, so we'll take our four in a row. This number, for some reason, corresponds to a lion, so we'll check out the lion, I guess. Uh, drink left at sea. The left side of the boat is the port side, so we'll take a look at the glass of port wine in Ed Knox's room. Snake baby trap. Okay. This is a puzzle I'm usually afraid of, but it should be easy, right? Just do the same thing you do in the seventh guest. Exa except half of it? Um,
Alright, that worked well. So, snake baby trap. We want the rattle, which is in this room. Now. Number from Greece. No, letter from Greece, number in Rome. So we need a Greek letter that's also Roman numeral, which in this case is C. Or XI, which is the leitmotif as a Roman numeral for this game. 11. Uh, eight letter word with KST, KST in the middle, in the beginning, and the end. So in the beginning, in, KST in the middle, and the end, inkstand. And we come to the oops to the final puzzle of the game, which is five in a row. Well, penta, or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> right, we want his first move to be not diagonal to us, so we get a little advantage because we're essentially only playing on diagonal pieces, uh, on diagonal um, fields. Um, that's a problem, I think. Uh, that's a bigger problem. Yeah. Um. Oh! Okay, we got him. I think. There we go. Five in a row. Whew. All right, time to choose the door. This is a cutscene we cannot skip. And a very special part of this run, because um, in the end we have three doors to choose from. And that is something that could be a great um, bid war over which ending to choose. Technically there's four endings, but only one of them. And one of them is just wait until the times run out and then we skip to credits. So actually what we want is one of the three doors that we will be able to choose from now. Now, depending on what GDQ wants and allows, uh, door number one will have slight lewdness, nudity, so I'm going to pick two ending, which is door number two for this one. Thank you. What a player. Let's see what's behind uh, door number one here. Door number one! Uh, the other two endings can be, for example, seen in my... Uh, I'll link the other uh, a video with the other two endings um, in the... Description of this YouTube video. Imagine the hours of enjoyment, the fun you'll have with Sweet Marie. Much more exciting than watching TV. You can watch me if you like. Be strong, Carl. Don't give in to temptation. Damn it, I thought that TV was unplugged. Choose me. What a choice. Marie. In a wheelchair. What's behind door number three? Pay up. Door number three. Oh. Carl, I've been so scared. Please choose me. Save me. I love you. I'll give you anything you want. Anything and everything. Don't listen to them, Carl. You'll be lost forever. Shut up, Samantha. He's afraid of you, Carl. Choose me. Destroy the power of this hellish house. Carl, you have to choose me. 
After all we've been through, I need you. Anytime, any place, any way. Well, a be sport. Choice is rule. And that's it. Time is when I click the door. Time. 39.30. That's good. I'm happy with that. Let's watch this true ending cutscene. And... Of course, the run is over at this point, so... But, well, I guess you'd kind of want to watch this ending cutscene, because that's what the bidding war was about. One, Carl. Possibly. So... Yeah. And that's the 11th hour with the in the all puzzles category on a new game save file. Uh, difference to the new game plus would be that you can skip all cutscenes including this final cutscene where we have to pick a door. Um, you can warp through rooms directly with the map and the final puzzle is harder because staff gets to move first. Which is the main reason why we don't run NG+, because it's really, really hard. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll link everything else in the description, and hopefully see you. Bye-bye.